see that if you take the uh, interpretation if you start from the coronal region you can see there is an filling in the coronal region and along with a decay process okay so it involves the pulp and if you take in the periapical region you you you, you are seeing a well defined radiolucency which is more than 1 cm so here there are two things so as radiolucency is involving pulp it might be the dental caries which involving the pulp so the tooth will be non vital and in the periapical region you have seen a well defined this is a well defined radiolucency so these two important features or the uh, signs are give a positive diagnosis for the radicular cyst okay so two things you have to remember a well defined radiolucency greater than 1 cm in the periapical region and a non vital tooth gives you a diagnosis of a radicular cyst and one more thing in this is an ipa seeing you can see here a defined defined radiolucency in the region of this missing tooth and there is an prosthesis connecting these two posterior teeth okay so here this type of radiolucency is in the edentulous region and that too the tooth is missing okay so this edentulous edentulous region with gives an positive sign for the diagnosis of residual cyst okay so if the cyst this type of radiolucency is seen in the edentulous region and you might you should think that the tooth has been extracted because of a caries and there is an remnant uh, type of remnant radicular cyst which is not uh, curettas properly so which might result in the residual cyst only one point edentulous area if an well defined radiolucency you can go for the option residual cyst and here it is an occlusal radiograph is given and here you can see a some type of heart shaped radiolucency involving in the anterior palate region so heart shaped radiolucency in the anterior palate region will give a diagnosis of nasopalatine cyst okay heart shaped radiolucency will give a diagnosis of nasopalatine cyst coming to this opg here we can give two differential diagnosis so here you can see a in the posterior region that is in the right this is the right side that is for the 4 6 and 4 8 in the apical regions you see you have seen a well defined radiolucency and 4 8 is missing here and this 4 8 is impacted and there is a radiolucency surrounding the impacted tooth in the posterior region so this type of radiolucency is you can give a differential diagnosis first as it is an impacted tooth and there is an covering radiolucency you can go directly think about dentigerous cyst and one more differential diagnosis you can give in this case is if you see here there is a resorption of roots okay so in you in this type of aggravate ag, ag, aggravative tumor the example is your ameloblastoma okay so the one more diagnosis is your ameloblastoma the first one is dentigerous cyst because of an impacted tooth with covering radiolucency and the second one is because of uh, resorption of periapical uh, root region and also an impacted tooth is there so you can go for the differential diagnosis of ameloblastoma here this is a view okay this is an which view this is a jack handle view and what fracture can you identify in this thing that is zygomatic arch fracture you can see here zygomatic arch fracture so we have already done that zygomatic arch fractures are seen or evaluated on jack handle view which is nothing but a modification of submento vertex view so that's all for So this is a glance of radiology subject presented here which will be very useful for you. Thank you for listening and happy learning with MDS Conquer.